So I'm going to show you how we diagnose and repair the transmission problem in this 2004 PT Cruiser using a pry bar and electric tape. It was stuck in failsafe with a PO755 transmission code for a 2.4 solenoid circuit and it also had a low pressure oil indicator light coming on at times while you were driving. And no, I did not take the pry bar and bash in the windshield and tape it up just to junk the car, though the thought did occur to me. Okay, the PO755 24 solenoid circuit error, that is most commonly the solenoid block. The solenoid block is located uh, below the air cleaner. You have to take the battery out and remove the battery tray, and it's way up under there. I'll try to show you a picture of it right here. You kind of see a little bit of it right there, that shiny thing. Uh, that's the solenoid block for the transmission. Okay, so when you have these solenoid codes, it's usually one of three things. It's the solenoid block, the TCM, or the wires in between. One of those three is messed up. Most common is the solenoid block. So this car's got a little bit of age, a little bit of mileage on it. Uh, one thing I like to do before I start working on these things is I like to just take a general look around at some things like the wire harness. I've found problems in the past where wire harnesses will be rubbing against stuff and uh, cause problems. So I'm looking at the wire harness right now coming from the solenoid block up to the transmission. And you can see right there where my light is, it looks like the wire harness is rubbing against the filler tube a little bit. That's not too bad. But the one that really caught me is, if you can see right here, the wire harness is rubbing against a sharp edge right here on this bracket. Okay, so I took my pry bar and I kind of moved the wire harness away from that sharp edge on the bracket. And I'm trying to get my light where you can see it. You can actually see where the wire harness has been damaged by this edge of the bracket down to the point where I can see a little bit of the wire, one of the wires exposed there. It looks like it's on the, uh, hang on. Okay, I've got the edge of my screwdriver pointing right to where the wire has gotten down to where the copper part is exposed right there, if you can see that. That's where it was rubbing against the bracket, shorting out. So what I did is I moved that wire out of the way where it wasn't touching the bracket, drove the car, and guess what? Everything's fixed. Transmission's not going in fail safes. PO755 is gone, and the oil indicator, low oil pressure light, is not coming on anymore. It drives pretty good, actually. It has a little more power. So when you find stuff like that, that's like scratching off a winning lottery ticket, man. That's like money in the bank, you know. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take that thing and we're going to move that wire harness out of the way. We're going to clean it up real good. We're going to get that thing. Uh, where it's not touching the bracket anymore and it's insulated really well and we're going to clear it of course we're going to reset everything clear the codes and give it back to the customer so all right i'm trying to take a little bit better picture of that naked part of the wire right there so you guys can see it right on the end of the screwdriver we we'll have to zoom in a little bit but that's that's where it is right there so on some of these, uh, well actually all these older cars, or any car for that matter, when you have these electrical problems, you want to check things like uh, wire harnesses rubbing against things they shouldn't be doing, uh, battery cables nice and tight and clean, uh, grounds being good and connected well, uh, being tight, and all that kind of stuff right there. Sometimes a little visual inspection goes a long way. So thank you for watching our channel. Like, subscribe, and have a blessed day.